So get this, I get a ticket, invoice, missed toll, whatever you wanna call it. I got it in the mail months later. So we're, we're in February now, this is back in December. So I'm driving through Chicago, you have the iPass toll system set up out there. It appears that I'm getting a ticket for the truck that I was towing. They're probably thinking that the truck is just blowing through tolls and not paying, but the picture isn't picking up that it's actually on a trailer. So how in the world am I getting a ticket for a truck that's on a trailer? I mean, not even technically on the road, this is kind of crazy. I actually posted this last week on my Instagram and it got me thinking about it. Everybody kept saying, dispute it. That's not right what they're doing. They're trying to take advantage of people, this and that. I mean, maybe, maybe not. I don't know, maybe I'm in the wrong. But I've driven through these tolls dozens of times, hauling trucks on my trailer, and I've never actually received a ticket in the mail saying that I missed a toll. Actually, a lot of people are saying that I should have removed the license plate, but you know what? This is just madness. What I'm gonna do is call them and find out what the heck is going on because I don't know, I, it's only 38 bucks. I know it's not really that big of a deal, but it is to me if I'm driving through there all the time. First things first, I gotta get some coffee and get this day started. And make sure you guys watch till the very end because I'm putting another truck on the trailer. I'm gonna explain to you guys why. So don't go anywhere. Thanks so much for watching, stay tuned. You guys can see here, they got me at three different tolls. I wanted to share this with you guys. Maybe it might help somebody out, I don't know. I'm actually gonna go ahead and just dispute this ticket. I'm pulling a trailer, so I got my Duramax hooked up to a trailer. I have the Wife Max on it. I'm driving to Ryan's Diesel Service. This was back in December 2021. I'm just now receiving this in the mail. But here's the thing, I have a iPass transponder, so it electronically picks up every time I drive through one of these tolls. I don't have to stop, it just automatically charges it to my bank account. So anyways, this is where I'm confused. So if I have a transponder, why are they sending me a ticket saying that I drove through the tolls without paying? You guys can tell the truck is on the trailer and there's straps hooked up to the truck. So the truck isn't actually on the road technically. So the bill total is $38.70, which really isn't a huge deal. It's only 38 bucks, I could just pay it, call it a day. There's no reason why I should be getting a ticket for a vehicle that's on my trailer. Does that make any sense to you guys? Maybe I'm wrong, I have no idea, maybe the rules change or something, but I'm hauling trucks constantly through Indiana, Illinois, Wisconsin, Michigan. This is sort of part of my livelihood, so I do need to get to the bottom of this. I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna call the Illinois Tollway, hopefully I can get a hold of somebody, and see what they have to say about this. Maybe it's just a computer glitch on their part, maybe. Maybe I just didn't read the rules properly, I don't know. But let's see what happens. I just don't think that it's fair that people are being taken advantage of if that's the case. So let's go ahead and call them right now. But before we get started guys, 1979 Dodge Power Wagon 12 valve come and swap manual, fully restored. This is our official giveaway on the channel. I'll leave that link in the description. The goal with this truck right here is to give back to an amazing organization called the DAV, which helps out disabled and wounded veterans. I'm gonna go ahead and call them right now. I'll probably be on the phone for 30 minutes Please listen carefully until I can actually talk to somebody. Thank you for calling the Illinois Tollway Customer Service Call Center. Para Español, presione 2. www.getipass.com to see your significant review straights. And your share accounts online at www.getipass.com. I hope I can get hold of somebody. For quality and training purposes. You, know, you guys know how this goes. Thank you for holding. Your call is very... Thank you for calling the Illinois Tollway Customer Care Center. My name is Rhoda and I have to help you. I received an invoice for a missed toll and I was pulling a trailer and I had a vehicle on the trailer and the picture shows that the violation was for the vehicle that I was towing. I want to have to take a look at your account. Who am I speaking with please? Okay, and your email address is still Joshua period, your last name, the number two at gmail.com, correct? Correct. Okay. May I have the invoice number? And this is for the trailer that you were pulling, the wife Max plate? Yes. Do I just need to put something in the computer saying I'm pulling a truck or I'm pulling a trailer with a vehicle on it? Yes. Because what happened is you have the transponder assigned to your uh, license plate, but that would be just a uh, Told for a car when you're pulling something that changes the axles from two axles to three to four axles, which puts you in a different uh, price range. Okay. But basically, every vehicle that I'm pulling, I need to add it. Correct. And how many um, 
axles is the, the trailer that you're pulling? One or two? Two. That would be trailer, two axles. Okay, I've added that to your account. So now you, there's no worries. You go through and everything will be paid. So the total is $38.70 to that. So all together, that would be for four axles. Two axles on the car, on the car. two axles on the trailer. And you know when you're pulling that, that's not half price, that's full rate. Mm -hmm. You only receive half of the toll for the vehicle, the car by itself, when you're just driving the car. Was there anything else that I can assist you with today? No worries, thank you for calling the tollway. You have a good day and stay warm. Bye. All right, bye bye. That answers that right there. Wow, I was surprised I got a hold of somebody so easily. I've heard nightmares about people calling to try to dispute their ticket and it took them a half hour to an hour just being on the phone. I guess that answers my question. A lot of guys are saying just take the plate off the vehicle when you're pulling the trailer and you won't have to worry about that whatsoever. It's just, overall, I think it's just asinine that we have to go through this. But I went ahead and just paid it on the phone. The lady was really nice. I always try to be really nice to people on the phone because if I'm being argumentative or combative, it can, it can just make it harder for myself. So it's not just the I-Pass in Illinois or Indiana. It could be in Pennsylvania. It could be in California. I don't know, guys. Whatever kind of weird rules that you guys have going on in your highways as well. But it's good to know and be aware that if I'm pulling a trailer, I need to make sure that I count axles. So two axles on the trailer. I have a 14K trailer. And then I have two axles on the truck as well. So that's four axles. So I need to make sure I input that as well as the vehicle that's on it. So once you go through those tolls, you don't have to worry about deleting the information on the computer. It'll do it for you. So I don't know, kind of interesting. Figured I'd let you guys know. A lot of you guys are like me. If you decide that you want to drive through Illinois or some other state that has these crazy rules, you'll have a better understanding of kind of what I'm going through. That's why I'm posting this video. Okay, so that's where it's gonna sit for now. I put it on the trailer because eventually I'm gonna be pulling it to Dylan's house, Dirty Diamond Diesel's channel. Make sure you check it out. But we got some serious issues with this thing. Oh man, what did I do? Oh no. Yeah. Is that burnout? It looks like I just lifted the head. Now, if you're just stopping by, I installed the Black Market Performance Compound Kit on this truck, as well as two Ryan's Diesel Service Turbos. I did an S480, and I also did an S363 on this bad girl right here. Truck's pushing a lot of power. I had the engine shipped out to Miller Engines. We had the cylinders bored out. We put some nice pistons in there. We do have stock rods. We have a stock crank, but everything else inside of that engine is billet. I also have O-rings in the heads as well. I'm running a set of exotic head studs, so the truck is basically done for what I'm trying to go for. I don't think I'm gonna hit a thousand horsepower, but with what I have going on in that engine, there's no reason why those head gaskets should have blown, or head gasket, should I say. I didn't use a cheap head gasket either. I used the Molly grade stuff. There's no reason why that should have happened. And what I mean by that is I should have just, you know, did a retorque on it after we did all this work to it. But after talking to Dylan, he's got some other ideas, but what I'm gonna do is take this thing to his house and explain what the heck is going on with this truck because I have a lot of money in this thing. I'm absolutely out of my mind for spending so much money on this truck, but it does mean something because this truck's been in the family for many years, you know, and I do plan on keeping it. Stay tuned for this video right here, guys. It's gonna be eventually going to Indiana and we're gonna be doing some pretty cool work to this one, but that's where she sits. But now that we're back, I turned the heater on this morning 
it's nice and warm in here. Man, I love having heat in the garage. It is such a blessing. I'll tell you what, man, especially making YouTube videos. I've been doing this for so many years without heat in my garage. Actually, I've been using that salamander heater or whatever you want to call it, this diesel kerosene heater. I've been using this for a while. But guys, that is so bad for my health. It's bad for your health if you use that thing. But that was before I had this nice shop built. It's all insulated. I have spray foam in here. I mean, this, this garage is a dream garage in my opinion. It's not huge. I can only fit three diesel trucks in here. But where I came from and where I'm at now, working my tail off to get to this point, man, it's such a blessing. So I'm not gonna video this process, but I gotta put those inner fenders back on the truck. After I installed the PPE manifolds, up pipes, down pipe, HSP cold air intake, as well as hot side. After I installed all this stuff right here, it just runs so much better. And what I mean by that is acceleration, throttle response, boost, EGTs. I've done so many videos on this truck right here and it's really proven itself. Oh, by the way, for some of you guys that want to purchase this stuff, use my discount code TRUCKMASTER. It's one word on their website. It's going to save you guys some coin. Or if you guys call in for an order, talk to Mike and let him know I sent you. They will hook you up with a discount. And then if you don't know, I do sell PPE products on my website as well. I left a link in the description. Definitely go ahead and check that out. But I'm going to go ahead and get back to work. I appreciate you guys watching the channel as always. See, I thought there was a discrepancy with the toll I pass ticket that I got in the mail, but... I guess I just needed to input it in the system. Lessons learned, but I still think it's highway robbery. It's just not fair, man. It just sucks. It's like, are, do we really live in a free country if we have to pay just to drive down a highway? This is nuts. But anyways, enough with my rant. But that's it. We'll see you on the next one. Stay tuned.